Hello Internet, how are you doing today? My name is Mike Lerner and we are going to talk about this photo, this photo right here. Uh, last week I made this photo for Justin Bieber in Toronto and it caused a bit of a stir, it caused a bit of controversy. Is he posted it as on his Instagram and he said this, is, this shot is inspired by James Dean and particularly he was talking about this photo right here. Uh, James Dean, as you all know, teen heartthrob back in the 50s and 60s. Uh, he was in three movies, uh, uh, Rebel Without a Cause, East of Eden, and Giant, uh, and he died young. So, obviously, he, 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 he has a big impact on uh, young Hollywood stars. Um, and so, yeah, uh, we were in the studio, and we were looking at uh, pictures of James Dean, David Beckham, just basically cool people, uh, young Marlon Brando, and uh, we came across this image, and Justin asked me, hey, let's try and mimic it. Uh, we were in the studio, so we weren't outside in front of a house. We didn't have these trees, and I don't really like copying photos exactly. So we were in the studio, so we decided to try and see if we can emulate it somehow. And um, so here's the original. Well, this isn't the original. This is the finished work. This is the original. Uh, so how the photo was lit was uh, we just had a bunch of, we had about 30 of these tiny LED lights that had about 30 light bulbs in each of these panels of LEDs. And I had a bunch of the panels set to blue and they were lighting uh, this back area over here. They were basically lighting the wall and uh, you're able to set the panel to white light if you combine red, red, green, and blue. So we had a couple of those panels set up and we put some white light on Justin and uh, obviously uh, we wanted to make it black and white. So I started editing. So here's here's the end product again, and here's the original. Basically, I used one of my favorite uh, Visco presets. It was in the second film pack. It's the uh, Fuji Neopan 1600 uh, pushed one. And uh, let's get right into it. You apply the preset, and obviously you can see that it's a little bit blown out in the shirt area and right behind him. So what I'm going to do right away is I'm just going to bring these highlights down just a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and bring the exposure down. And I'll just clarify it just a little bit. I'm going to make the blacks a little less black. I'm going to just enhance these shadows down here in this region a little bit because we want to see uh, a bit of his arm without hopefully losing too much um, uh, detail over here and over here and such. So we're just upping those shadows a little bit. If we uh, zoom in here for a little bit, I, it's a little bit too grainy. Uh, for me, uh, this preset will give you a lot of grain, especially push twice. It'll definitely give you a lot of grain. So we're going to come out here, and we are going to just bring the grain down just a tad. It's at 90, which is almost full. And I think I brought it down to about 70 or so. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit better. And then uh, I just wanted to make sure that the picture is sharp enough. So we bring it to that eye. It's pretty sharp. Let's just make it a tad bit sharper. Yeah, that looks good like that. And that's about it. Uh, it was fairly a quick edit. Uh, let's just bring those highlights down just a little bit just to see uh, where it got to. If there's really a difference. Yeah, I think I made uh, the blacks just a little bit blacker, obviously, if you look at the other photo. Um, so I didn't bring those down, actually. I brought them down. I didn't bring them up. So yeah, that's about the same. Um, obviously, maybe I guess I didn't put too much shadow in it. That's probably about right. But again, the shirt isn't overexposed, his face isn't overexposed, and this back wall here isn't overexposed like it was a couple minutes ago. So yeah, that's fairly the same. And that's it. He wanted a James Dean inspired photo. He never called himself James Dean. He never said, I am James Dean. He said that this photo that we're looking at right here was inspired, in fact, by this photo. And it's kind of cool. So that's it. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know.